Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is a travesty playing some Return of the Exile. Alright, still here in the camp. Got my party gathered together. Oh, and something interesting I wanted to show everybody here. Remember that uh, gift of, uh, I think it was a bag of kittens that we gave to Arnia? They're actually right here now running around. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Uh, off camera, I did Very go well. ahead and buy some items for a couple of our characters. Uh, one of the things I did get for Loric is this little giant. It's a belt that gives strength plus four and this uh, immunity to uh, Ray of Enfeeblement. So now his strength is up to 18. And let's see what yes. else did I get. I got a Cloak of Resistance plus three for Cyril and raises all his saves up. And finally I got a uh, Nymph Cloak plus four for Maudril. So that's going to raise up his uh, charisma so it's currently up to 24. Yeah, so that'll benefit his uh, Divine Might for sure. Alright, so the next thing what? I think we're going to do is we're going to head over to uh, Cordur Docks. We're going to close out this quest finally here, this ghost ship one. We need to talk to that Wole character, give him those uh, ship's papers so he can take that ship over and finally close that quest out. And while we're there in the uh, Docks District, we're going to do the Madman's Journal quest. This is the one with the page. Uh, we found a bunch of journal pages and stuff laying around on the ground in the docks district and was leading us over to that uh, asylum area over there. So we're going to go ahead and deal with that. All right, I'll see you over there by a wall in the docks district. All right, here we are back in the docks district. We're down here in the southern part here, and there's Wool. Let's go ahead and talk to him and see if we can clear this quest out. Any news on the matter of my ship? It's clear. The captain especially was possessed by something nasty. And is he dead? Well, of course he is. You wouldn't be talking to me if he wasn't. <laughs> Listen, did you find any papers on him? Like the ship's ownership's deal? Of course. I guess you need it. Here it is. Excellent. And these are for you, as I promised. Now, I have preparations to do and rest. But before that, search for a crew. In any case, this ends our deals. Farewell, brave ones. And to you. Alright, so he gave us a great axe, a suit of armor, and we got 750 experience points. And he grabbed that ship ownership paper from us. Alright, let's see what we got here. And it looks like we need to get them both identified. Let's see what we have. Vormal's axe. It's a great axe plus one that does extra fire damage. Ooh. That might be a good axe for our Barbarian Companion. And we have Severance Fortress Hides. Some armor here. Hide armor. Plus two bonus armor versus bludgeoning. Damage immunity versus 5% uh, of cold and survival plus two. Uh, not too useful. Yeah, I don't think we're going to need that. You know what? While we're right here next to this tiefling merchant. Let's get rid of that thing. I don't think we're going to need it. But I'm going to keep that uh, Vormal's Axe. I'm going to give that to Shagrator, I think. Alright, I think we're done Very well. down here. So the next thing we're going to do... We're going to go up here... Toward the Asylum. And take care of that one next. Yeah, if, uh, We should probably read the uh, journal and refresh our memories on this one, too. It's been a while since we were over here. Yeah, you found some pages of a journal scattered around the Corridor docks. It was talking about a, a place where experiments are taking place, and it seems to be a cry for help. Alright, well, we're about to go find out. Let's see, we haven't been up in this area at all, so let's take a close look around here, too. What well, is a loose window? Hmm. And a locked door. Let's see what this window says. This window seems quite fragile. The wood that keeps it together nearly falls apart when you try to touch it. Hmm. Alright, let's see. Before we start busting through everything, let's... Okay, we can't get back there. Let's go to Irina and just for the hell of it, let's see if we can't unlock this door right here. This door is barred from the inside. Okay, I guess we got no choice. Your command. But to go through the window. Alright, let's break through it then. Wow. A 
Ooh, I can hear something big moving around. Alright, barricaded door. I guess we can try to bust this thing down, it looks like. Let's see if we can get rid of that. Okay, is that going to take us back outside? Yeah, it is. Alright. What do we have here? A candle. Hmm, lightable candles. Alright, and there's another one here. It's hard as hell to click on. Alright, multiple doors. Pile of blood over here. Alright, before Very we continue well. any further, let's go ahead and buff up. As this is probably going to get nuts a little bit in here, I think. Let's go ahead and get your dick to X. Some endure elements on everyone. Your dick to X. And yes. Maldrill can put your his on himself. To X. Your dick to X. All right, let's get our animal Let companion fired up. Your dick to and X. Some jagged tooth and some bark skin. I feel no. And the horn of fog. I feel no. Alright, and one more thing. Magic circle against evil. Your dick to X. Alright, let's have yes. Arnia lead out. Actually, let's see if Cyril can detect anything on the map. Oh yeah, we can. Huh. We got two creatures here, for sure. Alright, let's go back to yes. Ar Arena. Hmm, those candles didn't last very long, did they? Alright, looks like it's a little bit dark in here. Very Let's get well. a little bit of light fired up. Domino. Alright, let's go back yes. to Irina. Alright, there's some blood here. And a dead woman. Alright, let's see what's on a dead woman. As you examine this woman's body, it looks like she has been dead for several days. But as you move your hand around the corpse, she suddenly opens her eyes and grabs your hand. <laughs> Damn! I made it! I made it! Through the second library. In the room. So much blood. Too weak to escape. She falls dead. <laughs> uh, close her eyes. Hmm. Alright, let's see. She made it through all the blood, huh? Something about blood. Alright, and I don't see anything else in here. Hmm. There is some bloody footprints, though, going over to this door. And it looks like there's quite a bit of blood. Maudril just said something. Evil forces had their work in this building. I can sense it. Yeah, it looks like there's a ton of blood right here. Alright, let's go through here, I guess. Oh, wow, there's a lot of blood in here. Alright, chandelier light up? Yeah. Whew! Wow. You can definitely see all the blood in here. Alright, we have a large chair here. What is that? A scroll and three potions. Alright, we got some mass cure criticals. Let's pass Boy, that off to Laura. Behind me here. Alright, she made it seem like there's something important in here. And there's something crazy on the ground right here. Let's go back to yes. Irina. Is there possibly a secret door in here somewhere? Yeah, right here. Oh, there might be. Ooh, yes there is. <laughs> yes there is. Ooh, I can hear something big moving around too. Alright. Stairway going down. Let's go into another area. Before we go down there, let's check this whole level out up here first. Alright, through the secret door. Wow, that is a lot of blood, man. Alright, let's see what's through this one next. Alright, and there's a lamp here. Is that light up again too? Alright, what's through here? Ooh, escaped horror. 
Alright. Let's go get this damn thing. Here he comes, boys! Alright. Arnia, you need to move. Cyril, you need to move in. Alright, Cliff. Attack nearest, please. Alright, where Leave is no everybody else at? Let's go, boys. Get up in the fight. Oh, not too bad. Alright, we got another door over there. And a chandelier that we can light up. Alright, here's some more of that black stuff on the ground. Is there another secret door there, possibly? Let's go find out. Let's take a quick look through here. Ooh, there's somebody in here. A messenger of gods. Alright, I don't see anybody else in there. Hmm. Let's go see what's going to happen in here. Go away! This place is doomed. And it will doom every single soul that dwells in it. The gods have forsaken this building. No living thing in the multiverse cares about what happened here. It will not remain in history, and no one will survive to explain what happened. The ones responsible are already damned. All that's left is to seal it, so that it won't wrap to another location and affect innocent souls. Okay. Alright, we got a couple more doors here. Let's take a look at the map. Alright, you know what? Let's see, before we continue on, let's go back past a couple doors back here. I want to go check them just to make sure there's nothing important in them. Because obviously something's important over there. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we have here. Where is Irina? Let's yes. have her lead out. Make sure there's no traps on anything. And there's another lightable candle, it looks like. Alright, I don't see anything of interest in here. Alright, and this door. Ooh, there's a chest here. And there's another candle lamp here. Wow, this thing is hard to get your mouse on. Come on. Oh! Oh my god, pixel hunting. That drives me nuts right there. I'll tell you that right now. Alright, we have a chest here. With three scrolls in it. Alright, let's go ahead and grab Arnia. She can pick those up. True Strike, Summon Creature 4, and Protection from Petrification. Alright, other than that, I don't see I lead. anything of importance in here. Alright, let's go back this way then. Let's see if we can figure out what this craziness here is. There's a door just opposite it. Another door over there. Alright. Anything gonna happen if we go between us? Okay, nothing. Alright, I'm not seeing anything else over here. Alright, what is going on here? Alright, a stairway going up. The door appears to be locked. Let's take a quick look. Can we possibly pick this thing? This door is barred from the inside. Alright, I don't know if we need to do anything with this. But let's check this room next. Ooh. Escape horror. Okay. damaging this thing? Okay, blocked at least one point of damage. Yeah, it looks like it might be blocking fire. Yeah, it is blocking fire. Oh, it's easy to kill anyways. Alright, wow, look at this thing. Alright, what's gonna happen if we go into this thing? 
nothing. Alright, we got a lockbox over here. Any traps on this thing? Nope. And we have an amulet that needs to be identified. Let's see what we got this time. Yes. Periapt of life protection. Improved saves versus death, plus three. Hmm. Fall in behind me here. Yeah, you know what? Fall we got a glittering necklace on Lord. He doesn't really need that. Let's put that on him. Everybody else has a decent one. The protector's a good yes. one. Natural armor is a good in. one. Acid resistance. What do you want? Lesser magic resistance. Your command. All right. Yeah, let's keep those. Very well. All right. Um. It appears we can't do anything with this. All right. Well, we have no choice but to go down in the basement then. Looks like we can't do anything with this either. All right, let's go back this way then. Head down here. All right, let's see, is there any more blood? Yeah, just the footprints going all over this way. All right. Down we go. Ooh, we got a cutscene. They did this to us, and for what? For what? Injected, dismembered, the nightmares never went away. For what possible reason we were here to simply get a cure, so they said. Why would they do that? What's going on here? More subjects, more experiments. They will be happy, I guess. Who? Who? The ones above. The ones who did this to us, they say, the more the better, one day we'll be successful. I heard them. It is time. I won't die on the table, not again. I need explanations. <laughs> explanations? How can one offer explanations when nothing makes sense anymore? You came to help, but it's too late. None of us can be helped. We are doomed, and soon the ones on the top four will be as well. But if I am to die, I'll better do it by the hand of one of my previous friends. Here they go, free again, but as abominations, not human anymore. Oh, she's letting some creatures out of these pens, huh? Oh, oh, yeah, she just died off. All right, experiment 1289, <laughs> 3290, 210. Wow. All right, and 305. <laughs> All right. This is probably going to be a decent fight. What can we crank up? Let's go ahead and get some bless fired up. Glory, glory. Yes. And let's get some haste fired up. Yes. And let's go ahead and get some magic fang fired up. No. Your command. And some bull strength. Feel no. Yes. And what do we have left for Irina? Anything special we can use? You have my word. Let's give her the alchemist fire again. What do you want? And let's go ahead and put that on her axe. Alright. Experiment 1289 appears to be coming right at us. Let's go for that one first then. Uh, let's see. I don't know if we can sneak attack these things. Alright, let's maneuver away from this thing here. Damn, look at this ugly bastard. She. <laughs> Damn. Get any sneaks on that one. Let's go back to this one over here. Yeah. Alright, they appear to be having some damage reduction here. At least seven. Yep. 
elemental damage is going through, though. Let's focus on this one here. Their time has come. Uh, let's see, what can Destroy we cast yet? Them all. Let's get some Hammer of the Gods fired up in here, since they're all right next to us. I'll teach you. All right, we got some dispel magic. All right, let's move in here and let's go for some curse. All right, let's back up a little bit and let's go for some iron skin. All right, we're still doing all right. All right, how are we doing here? All right, let's see what kind of arrows we got loaded up nowadays. Oh, not the arrows of the vampire. Let's go. Hmm, maybe cold iron arrows will work on these things. Let's try just for the hell of it. Alright, let's see here. This one's injured. Let's go for that one. Is it blocking damage? Yeah, it looks like it is. Me and the criticals, too. Alright, let's go... Arrows plus one, then. Yeah, I don't think we need arrows that a vampire loaded up. Alright, that one's down. All right, looks like we're doing all right. Yeah, we just Very took him well. down. All right, let's go see what we have in here. The Asylum upper floors key. All right, before we grab that. Okay, that door is locked, so that key must be for that door, I'm assuming. Let's grab it. Yep, it sure is. All right, and is there anything else we can deal with down here? Some crazy ass experiments they had down here. Wow. All right, I don't see anything in there. All right, there's nothing in here either. A lot of blood, though. Alright, let's see where this is going to go. Sanitarian top floor. Alright, let's take a look at the map. Oh, there's somebody standing here. Somebody named Frunk. Alright, let's get up here. John, hear me out, mate. Please, tell me you're still in there. We need to get ourselves together and try something. Please, mate. Hey, who are you people? Are you working for them? Are you? Please, I will do anything. Don't hurt me. No more. You can relax. We work for no one. There's no time to relax. They think we're all dead. Their plans close to completion. Care to explain? They wear robes, and they mostly come at night. Mostly. They take one of us and bring him somewhere, and all we can hear is muffled screams. This place used to be for the mentally ill. Not just crazy people, but depressed as well. One could have had a great loss or come here to recover. And it was fine at start. Then it got weirder. I have no idea who's behind this and why. All I know is that I'm probably the last one alive and also the most sane from all the inmates. And I won't wait until they take me. I need to escape. You hear me? Loud and clear. I don't know about your purpose here, but please, will you help me escape somehow? Yes, of course. You might want to follow because the way back is a bit gruesome, but yes. <laughs> you won't regret it, stranger. Who knows? Maybe I can be helpful somehow. I've been in here for more than a year. Let's go. All right, and we got a journal update. All right, this guy did join us. We can't control him, though. Okay, apparently... He was trying to speak to somebody through this door here. Can we get through there? Nope. Hmm. I don't see a way to get in there. Alright, let's see if he says anything else. Yes. No, he doesn't. Alright, let's see. Journal update. Further into the Cordura Asylum, you met a person named Frunk. He appears insane, but a mild condition. He keeps talking about people in robes doing experiments and killing people. He might be the last survivor in here. You agreed to take him with you until he finds a safe passage out of this place. Alright. Alright, and what 
was in here. The lavatory. <laughs> Alright, I don't think we can get through there. Yeah, we can't even get through there. Okay. Let's keep going then. Oh, we have multiple doors here. Oh, somebody hung themselves in here. Alright, let's see. Before we get crazy, let's have what Irina lead out want? here. In case there might be traps or something in here. Alright, anything in here? Oh, that... There must be an issue with that door or something. Alright, let's go to the next one. Another lavatory. Nothing we can do with it, though. Alright, there is nothing in here, either. Wait! Don't go in there! You don't want to do this! Why not? When it all started, when the wizard started taking inmates away, strange things started happening. You could stare at your wall and be sure it morphs into something else. You could hear weird sounds coming up from the next room, like energy forces, then screams, and it would be over. Anyway, this room here had become a legend, a story between us. Some said it holds the bodies of all the dead inmates, some others that is experiment material disposal, but in any case, we were always afraid to go in there. Okay, so he's talking about that door right there. Alright, before we go in there, let's check this door here. Ooh, what's going on here? <laughs> he's got all kinds of daggers sticking out of his... Alright, we have a short sword. A throwing axe. A hand axe. And a wicked dagger. Alright, let's see if we can grab these other daggers. They're probably just normal weapons, but let's grab them anyways. Just to make sure. Yeah, it looks like they're all just normal weaponry. Definitely a torture room going on here. Damn. Alright. Let's see what's through here. Uh, let's go to yes. Irina again. Hmm. Okay. Looks like we might have a portal in there. <laughs> Alright, before we go through there, let's see if there's anything else down this way. No! No, 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 no! It all comes back! Help, please! Don't let them do this! Calm down, what happened here? They sat us down, and then one at a time, on that chair, on the front. We were supposed to listen and watch, and they opened up their heads to take the brain out of... If one of us would make a noise, cry, or whatever, he would be the next one in line. I sometimes remember what they were talking about during the sequence. The brain... Your brain is diseased. In order to fix this, we need to take it from you and examine it. <laughs> Damn. Understand that, however painful this might be, it's for your own good. Don't we need our brains to live, madam? <laughs> A simple spell will bring you back to life. Restored, renewed, and healed. You have worried enough in your life. Now, let us worry about healing you. Okay, this must be kind of like a... A flashback going on here. It was horrible. I saw many friends of mine sitting on that chair. No matter what they said to us, I could never believe that this is for our own good. Never. But I couldn't speak. Sometimes some did. And then the lady... I'm sorry, but this is nonsense. I came here because my daughter died, and I thought this would be a simple process of spiritual healing. I never agreed to any of this. When we say that this is what you need, then this is what you need. The results will be magnificent. There will be many perfect ones, and the imperfect will be eradicated. Do you really not trust us? 
Do you really think we would hurt you just for the fun of it? Do you want your pain to go away or not? The process is very simple, and I can also offer alternatives, but only if you think that the said method is unsafe and not good for you. Yes, I do not trust this. I do not want any of this. You hear me? I want any other kind of treatment you have, but not this. In any case, what is better to treat pain than death? <laughs> See, he doesn't feel anything anymore. No pain, but also no happiness. But you all will feel happy and rejoiced after the process. But enough talk. Let's begin with the rest. Frunk starts crying. He simply cannot handle all these memories. The strange thing is that his memories get materialized in front of your eyes, and you can share them too. It appears as if we have become subjects of interest. Audience is not something I really enjoy. What? Can you see us? Some experiment that was conducted on this idiot Frunk must have caused it. He brought his memories in reality. Is this even possible? Everything is possible in here. Do not ever mistrust our master's powers again. Get rid of them. I will wait you in the chamber to continue the research. Protect Frunk. Okay. Wizard Torturous. Okay, something is going on here then. Alright, what do we have left for some spells? Let's get some Hammer of the Gods in here. We might be able to... How do you go in book? Yes. Um... Let's go for some haste again. Alright, you can start shooting a joint up. Let's go with some many shot. Pox covered harlot cheesing. Uh, let's get some divine Maybe might fired up. And let's use the wand of summoning. Let's drop it right there. Alright, and let's go get him. Alright, let's see if we can get a sneak on him. Alright, that one's down already. Alright. Got a sneak attack. Oh yeah, oh, okay. I thought they are gonna be a hell of a lot harder than that. <laughs> Alright, and Frunk is still alive. Alright, what do we have here in the remains? Ooh, a bunch of stuff that needs to be identified. Let's have Arnia. See if we can grab all that stuff. Alright. Very well. Of course, everybody wants to go standing on it. Yes. <laughs> Uh, let's grab it. A cloak bullet. The left hand of darkness. A sling plus one immunity to disease. A bunch of scrolls. Alright, let's grab all that stuff. Alright. Glim Glam's cloak. Plus one deflection and universal increase is one. Alright. Protection from petrification. Bullets plus one. Wall of fire. Weird, summon creature four, power word blind. Alright, that left hand of darkness, let's equip that on Arnia. That's going to be her new sling. Alright, anything on the workbench here? Nothing. Alright, and there's some more remains over here. Bracers, a wand, potion of clarity, and a scroll. Silver Braces of Cattle. Plus two armor and a praise plus one. Hmm. Very Who well. Who could we possibly give that to? Maybe Loric, but... Yes. What do you want? Yeah, yes. the appraise isn't going to help Your him command. too much. The what braces we currently want? have are pretty good ones, so... Uh, let's see. A Wand of Cloud Kill. Clarity and Restoration, we can pass that off. Alright, we can probably divvy that up later. Alright, and we have a chest over here. Let's go to yes. Irina. And we are running up on time. And more scrolls, alright. Arnia, you can grab all of them. Stone Skin, Confusion, Cloud Kill, and Stinking Cloud. Oh, there's one more drop right here. What is this? A gem. Alright. A barricaded door. Oh, that might go down to the other level we were at. 
All right, we got more stuff over here, but I think we're going to have to cut it off here. This episode is going pretty long. All right, we'll see you in the next one, ladies and gentlemen.